Hello, Nina. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Very good. And you? I'm happy to talk with you. And I am glad to I'm glad to introduce uh, to you my students that I'm sure already now they are watching you. Hi. Bueno, no sé si sabes, pero Nina fala galego también casi perfecto, tan también como a vos. ¿Verdad, de Nina? <laughs> sí, a verdad. A verdad que sí. Bueno, pues a idea, eh, Nina, I would like you to to talk about the sale um, because your English is better than mine, is, is, isn't it? It's, yeah, that is true. Uh, My uh, English is better than yours. Just a little bit. Um, no, not as big as this. <laughs> well, okay. I would like to, 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 to explain about the, the sale. That's the topic we are studying these days. Would you mind to explain them something? Because you study genetics, so you must know a lot about genes and cell, don't you? I know quite a bit. Right. So I'm going to talk about the cell structure. Okay, the cell structure. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to choose here on life like the, the cell structure. Okay. Okay, Nina. So. We have already seen the evolution of the cellular theory, but kids, if you hadn't, I recommend you to watch the video I show you here. Okay, just I am displaying now. So uh, since the 19th century, scientists know that all living things are made up of cells with the exception of viruses. But I'm sure you already may know that they are not considered living things. So, um, since then, the cell is considered the smallest unit of a living organism that can carry out the vital functions, nutrition, interaction, and reproduction. Thanks to researching, we discovered that the cells of living things are not all the same. They are shown in a wide variety of sizes, shapes, and structures. Let's go to study them. Yes, please. Let's go study them. Would you mind? So, Nina, uh, can you tell me what are the basic structure of uh, the cell or which is the, the main parts? Okay, so all cells have the same structure of plasma membrane, cytoplasm and DNA. So first we're going to talk about the plasma membrane. Yes, please. Plasma membrane? It is a very thin... But, but and Nina, it's not plasmatic membrane. No. Oh, okay, yes, plasma membrane, right. Plasma <laughs> So membrane. please, go ahead. It is a very thin and flexible cover made up of lipids that surround the cell and separates it from its environment. Its function is to regulate the movement of substances in and out of the cell. It also detects environmental stimuli and also cells to communicate. Wow, how many things uh, it's doing the membrane cell. Okay, so what Nina says is that eh, la célula, a célula, a membrana celular, o que falle, ahí ya las do medio, fenomenal. Y también eh, vaya a, a, in, a intervir no intercambio de sustancias entre o exterior y o interior de la célula. E incluso puede comunicarse con otras células o, o con exterior. Un montón de cosas. And what about the, how do you say, cytoplasm? Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. Yeah. Is it right? Okay. That is correct. And what do you tell me about the cytoplasm? So. Okay, so the cytoplasm is the material contained inside the cell, excluding the nucleus. It is made up of cytosol, the gel-like substance, and all cell organelles. Inside cytoplasm and organelles is where most of the metabol metabolic activities and chemical reactions are produced. Okay, so it's all the material, todo material, salvo o núcleo que está contido dentro de la célula, okay, todos los, organ todos los orgánulos o líquido que tienen dentro, y, y también aquí va a ocurrir, van a ocurrir pues, un montón de actividad de, de procesos metabólicos y reacciones químicas, muy interesante. Por tanto, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, uh, which one is the, the other one? So the last one is genetic material. Aha. Uh -huh. Genetic material. 
Yes. Material <laughs> genético. And where is it? Where can, where can we find it? The cell's genetic material is DNA, deoxyribonucleotide acid. And so this can be found in the nucleus. It is a complex chemical substance that contains the information needed to regulate each cell's function. This information is called genetic information. Depending on where it is, DNA is located. We can make a division of the living things, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Okay, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Okay, así que... Um... O material genético está feito de ADN, como podemos ver aquí no núcleo de esta animación. ¿eh? Y, y o ADN é ácido desoxirribonucleótido, como decía Ben Nina. Y, y nada, eh, resulta que a, temos dos tipos de células en función de se ten núcleo o non. Se o ADN está contido no núcleo ou non. Aquí temos unha célula, vale, unha célula eucariota. ¿Por qué? Pues porque ten un núcleo celular aquí. Voy a mostrar yes, Nina, un segundinho, una célula procariota para que para que avesan, ¿vale? Okay. Y, y entonces así seguimos con ella. ¿Qué te parece? Muy bien. Muy bien. Es todo sí. Galinglish mola, ¿eh? Galinglish. Galinglish, <risa> yes. It's, it's the, the new wave. Dice así. Do you, Do you say that? New wave? The new wave? I don't know. Do you say that? Mm, no. What rules? The, the, when something rules. Cuando mola mogollón algo. The new fashion. The new fashion. Gal English. Yeah. Okay. Kids, students. Gal English, the new fashion. Okay. So let's go for prokaryotic. Prokaryotic. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, Nina. I've got ready here the model for uh, our students. I say our students because. Now they are your students because you, because you are teaching them. Okay, so uh, 